Pride Month is in full swing. I think it would be deliciously ironic and eternally entertaining if God comes back today, gets us up out of here, and then burns the whole place down. It would be amazing. Not only because it would just be just and righteous and deserving, but because everybody who celebrates this godlessness, which is very few, by the way, most people are doing this because they are coerced. They are compelled. They believe that they have to. That was Jaron Jackson, an alt-right Christian nationalist and Oklahoma State Senate candidate going on yet another unoriginal and unnecessary homophobic rant. He thinks genocide is funny and can't wait for the day fire rains from the sky. He's also misusing the term ironic and since I'm in a helpful mood, I'll give him a better situation. If God was coming back tomorrow, you and most of your right-wing buddies aren't going to make it to heaven. Because if we're going by the standards of the Bible, you haven't loved your neighbor. You've threatened and admonished them instead. You haven't supported truth. You've been spreading violent lies that get people killed. You don't preach peace. You encourage violence like the insurrection on January 6th. You are a false prophet and are considered a stain in God's eyes. So what's really ironic is that you think there's any chance in hell that you're going to heaven. I'll be honest, I'm not a practicing Christian nor am I religious, but I have friends who are and they take their faith very seriously. They understand that the text is outdated, has mistranslations, and that they are parts of the Bible that exclude groups of people. They understand that the best parts of the Bible teach us how to love, to be truthful and respectful towards one another, and that the doors of a church should always be open to anyone seeking a higher purpose. Do you all really want a, re a representative of Christ speaking like this? Jackson, we know that everyone isn't gay. In fact, 7.1% of the US population is a member of the LGBTQ community. So why are you so obsessed with us? If it's something that grosses you out so much, why are you constantly speaking on it? Why are you being such a snowflake? And how are you a proponent of the freedom of expression if people can't have the freedom to be who they are? Another con conservative contradiction. The thing I hate the most about right-wingers is that they are never ideologically consistent. They never truly believe what they say or think, yet have such strong views on how other people should behave. It's ridiculous. The First Amendment, amendment that they love to quote so much outlines the freedom of expression. It literally says no religion can be established or as uh, supreme or by law. So what do you believe? Are you a constitutionalist or are you a religious nut job who can't seem to wrap your head around reality? It can't be both. And while we're on contradictions, I really need conservatives to stop picking and choosing which sciences they want to support. Granted, oftentimes it's pseudoscience that has no real scientific weight, but I just think it's really weird that they dip in and out of scientific research but still haven't realized that climate change is real, people are born gay, and there is no measurable existence of a god. And you want some science? Hashtag science? There is a, uh, an article I published on Telegram. It comes, I mean, this is the journal. It's the Rutledge, Taylor, and Francis group. What do two men kissing and a bucket of maggots have in common? Heterosexual men's indistinguishable salivary Amalay's response to photos of two men kissing and disgusting images. This goes on to report that people find it disgusting, especially straight dudes. Straight dudes find it disgusting whenever they see other dudes kissing. It is gross. Being gay is gay. It's the most disgusting, despicable, stupid bleh, thing ever. Insert barf emoji. Bleh. I'm wondering how many men you watch kissing to conduct that study. For someone who hates gay people so much, you sure are taking a lot of time scoping it out. I'll close with this. Jackson, shut your crusty, dusty, musty mouth up. No one gives a flying damn what you think. Gay people aren't going anywhere. We're here standing in pride because no one's going to dim our shine or take our solidarity. God don't like ugly and you're one of the ugliest. Thank you all for watching Rebel HQ. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe and have a happy Pride Month.